Big alert today, guys. The House Democrats are moving forward on an assault weapons ban. It's set to be marked up on Wednesday, making it the first time the Judiciary Committee has actually voted on an assault weapons ban since 1994. Keep watching for all the need to know details. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And yes, this shirt is available from Libertarian Country who I will link in the description. I know assault weapons bans have been tossed around in theory plenty of times over the last couple decades, but as I said in the intro, this is the first time one is heading to a vote in nearly 30 years. Let's ride. The bill in question is David Cicilline's HR 1808. It is literally called the Assault Weapons Ban of 2021 and currently has a whopping 211 Democratic co-sponsors. Oh, these traitors! It would make it illegal for anyone to import, sell, manufacture, or transfer semi-automatic rifles, pistols, and shotguns that have certain so-called military features. These features include a detachable magazine or a fixed magazine with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds, along with a pistol grip, folding stock, grenade launcher, which is so common use, a barrel shroud, or a threaded barrel, regardless of caliber. So this includes 22s, which is beyond stupid. Just neghead government plot. Semi-automatic pistols and shotguns with similar features or that have a certain weight while unloaded would also be covered. And it lists more than 45 ARs, 30 AKs, and more than a dozen AR pistols. And they're, quote, copies, duplicates, and variants specifically by name. And the bill includes all frames and receivers for any of these pistols, rifles, and shotguns. To top it all off, the bill also bans high capacity mags and would create a database of any of these rifles, pistols, or shotguns that are used in a crime. This one at least doesn't define a barrel shroud as the shoulder thing that goes up. And of course the government is exempt from its own law as we see in part four of section three. Good for the plebes, but not for me. Currently, it doesn't call for the confiscation of any covered weapon that any American currently owns, but of course that could change in an instant. It does, however, prohibit the manufacture or sale of new firearms and requires that grandfathered guns be stored a certain way. And of course, any standard, well, high capacity, but standard, we know, Mags that will be manufactured after the passage of this bill will be required to have a serial number and be stamped with the date they were manufactured, just like the 1994 ban. Yeah, I mean, it worked so well the first time. The bill is expected to hit the House floor for a vote as early as the last week of July, as Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler has been clear the bill will move forward out of committee. It is beyond frightening and disturbing that a weapon that was designed as a tool of war has found its way into the hands of 18 year olds and onto our streets, he says. Any weapon that allows for the quick and efficient slaughter of children in our schools has no place in our communities. This markup is another step in our efforts to make our communities safer. I look forward to moving this legislation through the Judiciary Committee next week and onto the House floor. Splendid, just peachy. A few weeks ago, the House Democrats didn't have the votes for such a bill, but according to insiders, the numbers are currently right on the line. Supporters are saying the bill is needed to stop school shootings, though we all know that school shooters do tend to follow the law. The bill is likely to be dead on arrival in the Senate, though the Senate was more than happy to pass gun control a few weeks ago. There's also the question now of Bruin, but it's easy to think that it might fall on deaf ears as Congress and Biden are working on abortion bills even after Roe was overturned and with Democrats crying that the Supreme Court is illegitimate. What really matters here is that the left is finally saying the quiet part out loud. There is at this point no denying that they're coming for your guns. 
So take that, leftists on Twitter that say no one is coming for our guns. As for gun bans like this one, it was just a matter of time, and even if this one fails, which it likely will, it's still only a matter of time before they try again. That is it for this quick little ditty. As always, please like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Drop a comment down below. Check out any of the support options down in the description. And as always, thanks for tuning in, stay safe, and happy shooting.